In this video we're going to look at the correct procedure for adding a rental property into REI Master. To add a new rental property into REI Master, click into the Rentals button here and select the Add button here. Prior to being able to add a property into the system and link it to an existing owner, you must have set up that owner in REI Master previously. Please see our video Adding a Owner into REI Master before attempting these next steps. Using your referencing system, you will add a reference and a description in for your property. We have got an address to insert in the description here. And from here we can then link, of course, our property to our owner. By clicking on the link to owner button here, we'll bring up a list of all our active owners available to us in the program. Make sure that you highlight and select the correct owner to link to this property. Once the property has been saved with an owner link to it, the only way to adjust or change the owner link is to go through a change of owner procedure. Our next step in here, once we've selected the correct owner to link the property to, is to insert information for our commission, our letting fee, the property type, letting type, etc. In the general configuration area under the setup drop down list, we have set up all our defaults for this type of information. All I need to do is click on the apply defaults button here to overwrite, overwrite the blank areas with existing details. You'll see now that our rent collection and management commission, letting fee options, room types, letting types etc pop up onto the screen here. If I need to change any of this information, i.e. the owner is charged more or less for rent collection management commission, their letting fee is different, the letting type or property type is different, I can adjust these and it will only affect this particular property. Insert some asking rental details as well as applicable. In my example here I also need to select a portfolio to link this particular property to. You may or may not need to select this option when you're adding in your property depending on how your RAR master system has been set up. The next tab to have a look at as well is the permanent deductions tab here. As part of the apply defaults button information will have dropped into the fields here as necessary if you have any other permanent deductions that apply to your properties that have been set up in the general configuration area. The other tabs in the property details area here may need to be filled in applicably of course, whether the, furn the property is furnished or unfurnished, correct address for postal information etc. Have a look at these tabs, see where you need to complete detail as necessary. So in this video we've looked at adding in a property and linking it to the correct owner. In order to add a tenant or link a tenant to this property, please see our video called Adding a Tenant. Remember of course to save your changes in the system here. Schedule the inspection for the property. You can answer yes or no accordingly of course. I will say no in this example. If I close out of here and have a look at my list of rental properties, I should find of course that my new property now is showing in the system here or in the list. And if I double click to look in I can see the owner linked to the property as well. At this point, of course, no tenant linked to the property as yet. Please see our video called Adding a Tenant in order to see how that process is done.